Hi everybody! Uh, it's been Howdy. a while uh, <laughs> since I did a Sonic podcast, if yeah, anyone remembers that. Yeah, episode of the Sonic cast. Yes. Like, uh, as always, I am the lovely co-host, Alex Hedgefox. And I'm MC Gemstone, Omega Moonbear. But today, uh, or whenever this comes out, when we upload we've it... Been, we've, we've been sitting on a lot of news for a while. It's like, mm-hmm. and Meg, Megan's actually been bugging me, just like, Alex, we gotta record this, Alex, we gotta record this. <laughs> and I'm just like, I know, I know, I know. I just like need to be in the right headspace. And like, more stuff keeps coming out. It's like, ah, oh, shit, well, now we gotta do something. <laughs> Yeah, I did, like, two episodes in the past, episode three and episode four. The third episode was, like, the future of Sonic. It's a little old, but... It's a little out of date, but there was still a lot of fun interaction there. Yeah, and then there's uh, episode four, which was the movie... The movie review, question mark? Yes. Which featured Mr. Coleslaw, but, you know... We haven't... We we gotta... We gotta We gotta sort it out. Yeah, we gotta edit eventually. I don't know when, but one day. So but yeah, in 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 the first one, we talked about the history of the Sonic TV show rumor. Yes, because there was a rumor going around for a while, started by Jack. Spe- it was, was it Jack Specifics or Tommy? It was Tommy. It was, it was Tommy that started it. Yeah. Ah, so it was right before they switched hands for the brand. Pretty much. Uh, future Megan and Alex, if this is wrong, uh, put text calling us dummy heads or something, <laughs> I don't know. This is, uh, we got some pretty big news to talk about. Uh, I guess talking in chronological order of release, apologies for the noise in the background, uh, in chronological order of release, uh, first, Roger Craig Smith has, uh, sat, uh, you know, stepped down from the role of Sonic the Hedgehog for future productions. I know this is really sad, but me personally, I'm gonna sound like a bit of an asshole, but it's kind of about time. Like, okay, don't get me wrong. Before all y'all skewer me, before before y'all skewer me, hear me out. I don't think Roger is a bad person or a bad voice actor. He did great in regular show. He did great as Captain America in Marvel's Ultimate Spider-Man, which we will probably get back to in terms of reference. Yeah. Uh, he's great as Ezio, he's great as Batman in the Arkham games, he did great as, uh, Thomas in regular show, I think his name was. was Uh, He is a good voice actor. He was even Itachi in Naruto, who I thought was a better voice fit for Sonic. But the, but the voice he wound up going with for Sonic is just, it's not a good fit. I I do, I do wish Roger well on his future productions, but just... He was never Sonic to me. I I have massive Jason Griffith bias. I think it was more of just the dialogue he was given through the courses of the games. Which probably leads into our next topic. Uh, But actually, should we talk about who we want to see replace Roger or no? Uh, We could probably get to that later. Uh, down the discussion. I'm- I'm- this is likely not gonna be 30 minutes long, this is gonna be probably an hour long, so... Well, if we get our points out quick and not yes. meander, we could probably get it done rather quick. Okay. Uh, but I- I would just say, let's just get the voice actor stuff out of the way, just because. Mm-hmm. Uh, so for me personally, I would really like it if we could get Jason Griffith back. I know that's wishful thinking, but- It'd be really nice if we could get Jason Griffith back. I'm seeing everyone, like, say, like, oh, well, they'll just use Ben Schwartz. And it's like, eh, I mean, Ben Schwartz is an okay Sonic. He's definitely better than Roger's take. But, uh, he's, his, uh, he's a bit expensive. He's yeah. a, he's a celebrity. Yeah, he'd be too much money. Because, like, everyone's argument for bringing back, for bringing Ben onto the games is like, oh, well, He's voiced in stuff like DuckTales and Ninja Turtles. And, you know, he's he's done stuff like that before. It's like, yeah, but the difference is, that's Nickelodeon Disney. They are big-name media corporations, so they have the money for that. Sega is not as rich as Disney. Sega does not have Disney money. What do we... What, what, where do we go from next? Was it like, we're gonna talk about Ponte? What they, what they did with Sonic X. Oh, I... Well, I, hold on, we're still talking about voice actors. Okay. With the whole, you know, their argument for bringing Ben on to be the voice of Sonic in the game, and probably even on the show, but we'll get to that, is because, oh, well, they're trying to pull, like, a Sonic X. Because when Sonic X came around, they had the four kids actors, and then when Shadow the Hedgehog came around, they wanted to sort of unify the actors, so that way 
It was the four kids actors across the board. But the difference is, no offense to any of the four kids actors, especially Jason, the four kids were a bunch of no-names and were really cheap. Ben Schwartz is like a B-list celebrity. So he'd be way more expensive. Well, I guess we but, uh, see. but uh in terms of who I want to see, I really want Jason to come back, but if it has to be someone new, I would vote for either uh Yuri Lowenthal, the voice of Ben Ten from Alien Force the Omniverse, as well as Spider Man in the PS4 series. And Sasuke from Naruto. And speaking of Spider-Man, my other option would be Drake Bell, who voiced Spider-Man in Marvel's Ultimate Spider-Man. I bet all of you were expecting me to say Max Middleman, or Middleton, or however you say his name. And I was like, I heard that video going around, and it's like, eh, his voice is alright, it sounds a little too close to Roger, in my opinion. But yeah, my ultimate picks, Jason, if we can get someone old back, but if it has to be someone new, Yuri or Drake. Oh, yes. What about you, babe? I uh, kind of the same with you. I don't know. I I I'm pretty much done with Yuri Lofo being as Sonic or Drake Bell. I feel like they. I don't know. I guess maybe with Yuri because I don't know if he'd be able to do a teen voice because I feel like uh, would he be out of practice for it? Also, I don't know. I mean, he did the Spider-Man PS4 game. That was pretty recent. Oh. That was a teen voice, wasn't it? Yeah. Then again, I, I, I say I say pretty recent. That's the PS5 is out, but you get what I mean. That's still a fairly new-ish game. Yes, yeah. I, I don't know, I'm just I'm just hoping that they get like a confident like voice actor that can really pull off a very cool sounding character. Yeah, I'm, I'm also hearing people say like, oh, we'll bring back Ryan Drummond, I'm just like, no, and this is where, and this is where I get skewered for once for something that isn't me hating on Ian Flynn. Oh god. But I don't think Ryan Drummond has the voice anymore. Let me put it like this. Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Shuffle, he was bad. He had no direction, he was very robotic, leading to lines like, you know, Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! And it's like, really, really bad. Then you got Sonic Adventure 2. Perfect. That was the peak of Ryan Drummond's performance as Sonic. That was his apex, he didn't get much better than that. And then it got ruined in Sonic Heroes, where he sounded pretty much like a kid with ADHD. I say that as a kid who grew up with ADHD. <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, I keep I keep stumbling on my words. Uh, but then, like, there are like other things that came out. There was that Ford of Blankets interview where it sounded more like his Adventure Two uh, interpretation. There was his. There was a. Uh, there was like an Iowa news thing in which. No. And then there's Sonic and Tails R. Oh boy, you're gonna get- <laughs> for, the, for the sake of Megan's brand, and for the sake of her happiness, I'm not going to shit on them here. All I'm going to say is, he doesn't have the voice anymore. Mm. He just- he doesn't. He hasn't voiced the character since 2003? When, when did Heroes come out? 2003. Or, or, 2003 yeah, 2003. It. And it makes sense. Because that's a long time. It's 2021 now. I'm going to be 20. I'm going to be old. I'm going to be 22. <laughs> We're going to be old together. <laughs> I'm going to be older. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, everyone's like, oh, we'll bring Ryan Drummond back if they're doing the adventure remakes. No. Oh, bring Ren Schwartz on because he was in the movie. No, too expensive. Just, I, wa I want to see Jason come back, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. What are, what, are, what are your thoughts on the Ryan Drummond uh, speculation? Do you think he'll come back? Do you want him to come back? Or do you still stick with, like, Yuri being your top pick? I guess Yuri. I don't know. I'm, I'm just... Look, I'm just down for anyone that can just voice Sonic well. I just want, like, a confident voice actor, because I just... I don't... I just want them to be good. That's all I want. I just want a good voice. That's all I want. <laughs> And then, on to our next topic. Pontac and Graf, or usually abbreviated as Pontaf, are gone. Or seemingly gone. Yeah, they're gone. They're definitely gone. They're not coming back. Because on their LinkedIn page, it said the last thing they wrote for on the Sonic series was 2019. It's been two years now, wake up, sheeple. And not only that, but he was 
It's just on a, what was it called? The Pizza Party Podcast? Yes, the Pizza Party co- Podcast. It was a interview uh, with just Pontac. I'll link it down below. It was just basically an interview of his time. Uh, where they did mention like him, like he mentioned working, you know, at Sega, like for Sonic Colors and such, and other Sonic games. Most of it is like previous stuff that he was working on. Yep. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll link. He it also doesn't. He also doesn't have a really good view of us Sonic fans, probably because he knows that we're not the biggest fans of well, his. And- Direction. It's not. It's not that. It's just a lot of people like harassed him, and like he didn't really go Ooh. to like conventions a lot because he was scared of like Sonic fans attacking him and such, because of just Ooh. how like vicious they could get. I will blame him. There's some really nasty people uh, out there. So yeah, yeah. So I, I don't blame the guy. He seems like really nice. It's just like you know, it just. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't. I don't hate Pontac as a person. I don't hate Pontac and graphics. I just think they were not the best writers, or at the very least, they should have been informed on the material that they were working on. Because, mm. like, when you have writers working on your product, and they say they don't know a thing about your product, you you done goofed. Mm. But I guess we will uh, leave it for that, because... I want to get to the actual meat and potatoes. Well, well, hold on. I know you want to get to the meat and potatoes, but, uh, babe, <laughs> what, are, what are your thoughts on Pontac and Graf's tenure on the uh, series? Well, as, I, as I probably made it clear, I'm not the biggest fan. That's that's fine. And, like, uh, you know, it's I, I'm sure he probably understands that it wasn't for everyone's taste, because, like, he was the same guy that worked on, like, freaking Happy Tree Friends. I mean, he also worked on some claymation show called yeah. Bump in the Night, which looks kind of interesting. Yeah, uh, he did work on a previous game before Sonic at Sega called Mad World, which is oh, I was, I, was, I was thinking like Sin City or some oh, shit. Oh no, it's not. It's not Sin City. It's a Mad World. It's like this very uh, overly violent game on the Wii. Uh, it's very, it's like black and white. It looks very cool. Uh, so. Uh, I feel like they they all, all write writers for what they were. I don't think their writing really suits Sonic, but I feel like everything else is pretty good. They seem like really cool people. I don't have a lot really much to say. They were just all right for what they were, but I don't know. Like, I don't really have much of an opinion to say. I think they were just they were all right for for like Sonic writers, I guess, but not like. I don't think they. I feel like Sonic really works of them as well, but I did hear that they enjoyed writing for Sonic, so, you know, there's that, so that's that's pretty neat, but yeah, I I just say good, you know, I just, you know, want to say, like, good luck to both of them in, like, future stuff they work on, and, you know, Mm. that's that's such... And the one thing I want to say before we jump to the, before we jump to the real meat and potatoes... I think this might mean a direction change for the series, because every time the franchise has seen new voice actors, it usually means that we're about to step into a new era. With 1999, we had Ryan Drummond in the Sonic Adventure era. With uh, 2005, we had Shadow the Hedgehog and the Four Kids actors. In 2010, we had Sonic Free Riders and the, uh, I guess, the Studiopolis actors. Because, like, what do you, what would you really call that group? Because you can't call, because they're not, like, you can't call them the modern era anymore Mm. because they're not modern anymore. The boom era? The boom era actors? Maybe, or the Studiopolis era. That's, that seems like. Well, well, Studiopolis is their recording studio because I'm pretty sure whatever new actors show up would just be Studiopolis. So it's like Studiopolis 1, Studiopolis. We gotta, let's just say the boom era actors. Yeah. That's, that's fair. So, like, the Sonic Boom, the Sonic Colors era actors. So now, you know, Roger is gone, and Pontac and Graf are gone. It seems to be the beginning of a new era. Depends if they get any new, like, other voice... Is any other voice actors leaving, or are they gonna get, like... I mean, Mike Pollock has kind of been, like, trolling the fandom, like... It's like, oh, maybe I'm going, maybe I'm not going. Snooping as usual, I see! <laughs> I, I feel like he knows what he's up to, I guess. I don't know. Well, yeah, Mike Pollock is a massive troll, and that's <laughs> that's kind of the charm about him on Twitter. Pretty much. Uh, so... Uh, but now, on to the show. And, babe, yes. before you get all hyper-excited mode, 
We are going to take this slow. Okay. We are going to re review things in order from the initial reveal and all the other things. Uh, but hold on, one more thing about the direction change, and it's a minor thing. Aaron Weber said that we shouldn't expect to see Green Hill Zone for a while oh. in one of the podcasts, so... Well then. So, we're getting away from nostalgia, we're getting away from the weird meta humor, say if Pontaf is gone, and Roger might be, or Sonic might be getting a better voice. So it's a sign of it's a sign of good things. Which leads us into our next topic. The future is bright, and less possibilities are never. So Netflix. Netflix. Okay. Netflix. 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 <laughs> Everybody loves Netflix. I just, I just, I'm happy that I have Netflix so I could just watch Avatar The Last Airbender on it. Amazing show, love it. I really want to look forward to watching some of the other animes and original cartoons on there. I'm looking forward yep. to Kid Cosmo, because that's going to be I'm on I'm still there. looking forward to the Cuphead show, whenever yeah. that comes out. Yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, so, this all started off on the day of the Game Awards, weirdly enough where they seemingly, supposedly, maybe sort of, but kind of not really, accidentally leaked, that they are working on a Sonic show. And it was being worked on by Sega, Wild Brain, and Man of Action Entertainment. And this is interesting because, you know, Man of Action created Ben 10, because, you know, you know us, <laughs> Matt Ben 10 nerds. This channel will be taken over by Ben Tennyson himself ever so slowly each day. Ben Tennyson, give me the Omnitrix! Every day it slowly turns into another completely different channel. When it was just, I mean, it was, it was gonna do Sonic content, obviously, yeah. but just, you know, Ben Tennyson's an exciting new venture for us, but that's. Anyways, we already talked about that in the update video if you want to know more about that. Yes. Link in the description for that too, I guess, if you want to, if you guys care. Mm -hmm. Uh, so. This is interesting because basically like what we said in the new cartoon episode we did with the OKKO OK thing, yeah. we talked about what we wanted in a new show. I said that I wanted Man of Action to be, you know, the people writing it because I believed in them. And this was like way before Babu Megan when she didn't know what Ben 10 and all that stuff was. <laughs> Ha, huh, my origins as a Ben 10 fan. <laughs> yes. That's that's good, because like we got good shows there. We got Ben 10, Generator X, Marvel's Ultimate Spider-Man, which Megan and I have been marathoning through, and it's amazing. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I actually don't mind it. But then again, I'm new to Spider-Man, I'm new to Marvel stuff, so... Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm and I'm not even really... And I'm not a big comic book geek, I just watched it because yeah. it's like, oh! Well, it's Man of Action, and it might give us an idea of what they might be doing with this new Sonic show. And then the other interesting studio working on it is Wild Brain. And this is interesting because Wild Brain is the current company that owns the license to the old three Deke cartoons. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog, or Sonic Sadie Am, as it's more colloquially known in the fandom, mm -hmm. and Sonic Underground. So it's like... This is so you could argue that this show is the first new Deke cartoon in decades since Underground. Pretty much. And God, uh, Underground. I'm disappointed, but what was I expecting? Yeah, let's not get into that. Maybe we can make a dedicated video on our overview of the Sonic shows whenever we finish our marathon there, which will now likely include this new show. Yes. Uh, then next. Ian Flynn came out, and we all know this is usually a sign of good things. <laughs> I'm always gonna be the saucy one of these <laughs> in these podcasts, and you can't stop me. I know. But yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna hate on him too much. You all you all get the drill. Or Ian Flynn, that yeah, whatever. So Ian Flynn in his bumble cast came out and said that he is not involved in the new show. He wants to be involved in the show, in which no. Uh, and he also confirmed the fact that the show is not based on the IDW comic. Good. And then, after that, Tyson Hess came out and said that he wasn't working on the show either. Which is interesting, because I would have figured they would have at least had him on as an art director, because everything Tyson Hess has touched has turned into gold. Mm -hmm. And everyone was angry about it on Twitter because they uh, didn't have him on there. Uh, po apologies for the- there's a bit of a cutoff there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, then we got an announcement from Tyson Hess, who said that he wasn't involved in the show. People, of course, were pissed, as you were saying. Yes, very. Uh, but, kind of... 
you would you would think that they'd have him involved since people love yeah. like mini adventures and kind of racing I mean, overdrive. Maybe they're gonna have some other artists on it. I, I I'm sure. Like I don't know. It just I felt it was really like unfair just to like attack, you know these you know, man of action and wild brain just because they didn't have an artist. On. Like who knows? We they could have like another cool artist on that might know how to draw Sonic. Probably I don't know. Like we don't know who what Sonic's gonna be looking like in this show. To be honest, we do know that it's 3D. Yes. Actually, we do we do know what Sonic it'll be based on, but uh, we'll get on. To, yeah, we know it's not classic Sonic. We know it's not IDW. And then a couple of days ago, before today. I found a thing, and I tried to share it with a bunch of Sonic tubers. One of them had to be a bit ungrateful. Uh, anyways, I found a little flyer thing that said, you know, that showed things from- It was like a thing for, like, investors. And it basically showed what Sonic was going to, you know, be in the upcoming years. And there was three sections. There was one for classic Sonic, one for modern Sonic, and one for the movie Sonic. And under the modern Sonic segment, it said long form animation. So there's confirmation right there. 100% this show will be based off modern Sonic. However, this is when today's news kick in Sonic Prime. Dun dun. Can we just okay? Can we just talk about the logo for a second? That logo. Yeah, I was gonna talk about the logo. The logo is <laughs> it's definitely unique. Cause like yeah. I don't think I could. I don't think I can ever say that we've seen like the Sonic logo look shattered before. It just looks so like creepy and mysterious. Like I don't know. Like it could be. And like, at the bottom, you have that shiny look to it, which makes it this spacey, and it's oh, it's so mysterious. Well, yeah, the bo the prime part, and I don't know if anyone else will be able to relate. I feel like this might be something we'd have with a visual. Uh, but like, it kind of reminds me a bit of like the fourth Doctor's intro, like those sort of like sci-fi co colors. Like, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, before we read into the stuff, because like we we literally read over it before we started reading, so now we're gonna have to read it all again. Yeah, I should have probably. Um, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. Uh, so, the thing with this is, because when I read Sonic Prime, and I know this is going to be a big dub when we get to the next dub, I read Sonic Prime, I think multiverse. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think because to be Because to be the prime of something, wouldn't that have to be that you're the best of, of that thing? Mm -hmm. So if you are the prime, if this is Sonic Prime, and there is a prime Sonic... That must mean there are other Sonics involved, too. So, it makes me think multiverse. And you know what else makes me think multiverse and Sonic? Archie. Archie show confirmed. Nah. But, like, in in the old Archie Sonic comics, whenever there was, like, multiversal, like, shenanigans, mm -hmm. they would usually refer to the main Sonic as Sonic Prime. So, shot in the dark, maybe they're taking a few cues from Archie? I don't think it's gonna be like, oh, this is Archie multiverse show confirmed. No, obviously not, because there are too many legal kerfuffles there. They're probably what they're gonna do is make their own original, like, different versions of Sonic in their own, like, cool way. So, for example, Albedo Sonic. <laughs> oh, God, there's not an Albedo Sonic gonna I be would, like. It's gonna be definitely a Sonic of Nomi tricks. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> you just no, well, I mean. Uh, maybe. maybe. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna reference their shows. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. We'll we'll see what happens. Don't 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 count your chickens before the hatch, babe. I don't know, I don't know. Um, and then the Sonic Twitter uh, 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 announced it too. Uh, at NX on Netflix, at Sega, at Wildbrain, at Man of Action. Ah, oh, yeah, this is finally happening. <laughs> I'm assuming this is a press release from Wildbrain. So Sonic Prime. By Wild Brain, Netflix, and Sega. Guess we're gonna completely leave out Man of Action. You know, totally didn't forget that they were working on the show. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, you wanna take turns reading these uh, bullet points? Sure. Because, uh, like, I'll, 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 I'll start, like... New animated adventure from Sega and Wild Brain will premiere worldwide in 2022. Okay, uh, <laughs> alright. Um, Netflix Sega of America, Inc. and uh, Sega, okay. 
And while Bray will announce a new animated f- anim- Fuck, I'm already. F- uh, <laughs> you want me, do you want me no, to just take it? Babe? I can do this. I can do this. And Wild Brain <laughs> announced a new animated Sonic the Hedgehog series. Sonic Prime set to premiere worldwide in 2022. The 24-episode animated adventure for kids. Hold families. on, wait, wait, wait. That's, 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 that's hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's my point. Sorry. We're, we're taking turns here. All right. It's all right. <clears throat> The 24 animated adventure adventure for kids, families, and longtime fans draws upon the keystones of the brand and features the blue blur of video game fame in high octane adventure where the fate of a strange new multiverse rests in his gloved hands. Sonic's adventure is uh, is more is about more than a race to save the universe. It's a journey of self-discovery and redemption. Didn't know you were working on this, babe. <laughs> My dreams and aspirations of that series, I have no idea if that would be a thing anymore if I'm gonna make it, but that's a story for another one. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, the series will be animated at Wild Brain's Vancouver studio, and Sega and Wild Brain will jointly participate across production, distribution, and licensing. Man of Action Entertainment, creators of Ben 10, and, and the characters and team in the Academy of Winning feature... Big Hero 6 have been brought on as showrunners and executive producers for the series. Good. Good stuff. Uh, and then we have and then we have a quote from Dominique Baze. Baze? I'm so sorry we're butchering your name, Dominique. I will mean, call uh, for butchering your name. Uh, or director of original animation at Netflix. Sonic is a beloved character and holds a special place in everyone's heart, including my own. I spent many hours with Blue Blur as a kid, and it's a privilege to be able to bring this character everyone knows and loves on a brand new adventure with Netflix. One that a generation of loyal fans and brand new fans around the world can enjoy. And then we go on to the next one. Ivo Gerskovich, Chief Brand Officer at Sega. Would you like me to read it? Uh, I think I can keep going. Alright, that's fine. Gotta, gotta, gotta keep the flow going. Gotcha. Because I want to I wanna discuss about this, because there's some interesting things in this. Yes. Ivo Gerskovich, brand officer at SEGA. Sonic the Hedgehog is a global entertainment icon that has captivated audiences since its video game debut in 1991. With over 1.14 billion game units sold and downloaded to date, an excited feature film, a robust licensing program, and more, SEGA's iconic hedgehog continues to surprise and delight audiences worldwide. We're thrilled to partner with Wild Brain, Man of Action, Entertainment, and Netflix to speed into this new animated chapter of the Sonic franchise. Oh, I just noticed in this. They don't they don't have a statement from anyone from Man of Action. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Hello? Oh, I'm here. Don't worry. We're recording oh, okay. I'm recording this for OBS, so Alex might cut out oh. and such. Because uh, I, I can't but be bothered to like do re- separate recordings because it's a nightmare to put together. So this is the lazy way of doing it. Yeah, they didn't have a statement from anyone from Man of Action. Kind of weird. Mm. Uh, and then Josh Sherba? Skirba? The president of Wild Brain. With generations of devoted fans around the world, Sonic the Hedgehog is popular today than ever before. We are thrilled to be partnering with Netflix, Sega, and Men of Action to deliver all new Sonic adventures for audiences worldwide. This premium franchise is ideally suited to Wild Brain's capabilities and is already inspiring great things from our talented creative teams. We've witnessed firsthand the enduring popularity of the brand from the strong and steady demand for our library of legacy Sonic series. Referring to the fact that they own Sadiam Archie or Sadiam Adventures and Underground, we look forward now to bringing fresh and exciting Sonic content to fans both new and old, building on the momentum generated for Sonic in 2020 as the brand celebrates its 30th anniversary in 2021. Sonic Prime aims to captivate the imaginations of audiences 6 to 11, as well as legacy Sonic fans of all ages and will match the sale and scope of the epic adventure synonymous with the Sonic franchise in 2020, the theatrical feature film Sonic the Hedgehog. Took the number one spot worldwide opening box, uh, opening, uh, took the number one spot worldwide opening week and remained on top globally for weeks while having breaking domestic box office records. Producers Sega Sammy and Paramount Pictures have announced a sequel to the feature is in development. Well, that was very long. So, yeah, apologies if that got boring. No, nah, it's alright. I'm just so. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack. Here. Interesting, 
interesting things to, to, to gleam from here. Yes. A multiverse. So again, like Archie, and the fact that Wild Brain is working on it, could we maybe see universes based on the old Deke shows? Perhaps. Like, Sat AF universe, they, Adventures like, universe. Like, it makes me wonder, if they're going to different multiverses, would, like, the art style change, or would it still be, like, CG? Like, are we going to see no a Sat AF Sonic in 3D? <laughs> If that happens. Uh, 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 that might be a little gross to look at. Uh, most things work Imagine better. the mohawk in 3D. They'll probably have to work around it, unless they, like, change the art style probably. to go to 2D, which would be kind of neat. Where do we start on this? Where, but yeah, where should we begin? The, uh, there's a lot of points here. Uh, right here, where it's like, the fate of a strange new multiverse, so there's sort of multiverse thing going on, yes. so into the, into the Sonic-verse. Into the Spider-verse, and... Like, and that one Ben 10 episode from Omniverse, but there was like multiple. Yeah, episodes. into the into the into the Omniverse. Yes, that was. A <laughs> episode. Uh, Sonic's adventure is more about a race to save the universe. It's a journey of self-discovery <laughs> and redemption. Oh, God damn. So maybe it's something, maybe it's something like Marvel's Ultimate Spider-Man, where he's like discovering himself as a. But the thing I'm curious about is redemption. Why does he need to be redeemed? Did he do something wrong? Did he screw up in the past? Maybe. I find that interesting. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I don't even remember where we left off. All right. So. Oh yeah. Talking redemption. about him being, his him being redeemed. Yeah. Redemption. Like, what is, what, why does he need to be redeemed? Did he well, do something wrong? Did he make a rookie mistake that he has to redeem himself? Okay, here's my theory of what the story could be. What if Sonic, like, did some sort of mistake that he maybe, like, accidentally released a Pandora's box of, like, all these multiverses opening up and, like, combined, like, going into Sonic's world. We don't know if Sonic's gonna have a name of this planet or not. And just, like, you know, like, everything is just, like, breaking apart. The whole multiverse is just, just being destroyed and maybe he did something along the way to screw it up and now it's up to him to try and, like, you know, restore, you know, order to the chaos that is happening. Or maybe he had, like, a fight with Tails and... They like, you know, did something. Or he did something. I don't know. Or maybe it's like to a maybe. I don't but know. I feel like the point here is this show. This show is going to take itself seriously. Yes. This isn't going to be Finally. like a Ben 10 reboot or Mega Man fully charged. It's gonna be. Uh, it's not gonna be like. Super this show duper. will take itself seriously. But not like super duper gritty. Well, no, it's not. It's gonna be like rated R. Like Sonic's gonna slit Eggman's throat. Like no. <laughs> Obviously not. He's gonna slip the egg, slit the egg. I'm gonna cut you, egg man! I'm gonna, like, make, no. you into, I'm gonna make you into scramble! <laughs> I'm gonna scramble your eggs, egg man! <laughs> scramble your eggs! Oh. <laughs> why, does it, why does that sound like something you actually say? I'm gonna scramble your eggs, egg man! Oh. Yuck, I wanna die. Oh, but it's just, it, me, it could just be, it could be anything. It could just be anything of like Sonic's redemption. Maybe something. And you know, past. you know, this is written by comic book writers because Man of Action are like a group of comic book writers because they always come back to the multiverse. They did yes. it with Ben Ten. They did it with Spider Man, but we haven't watched that season yet. But we'll 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 get a good idea when we get to that. Yes. This show is definitely going to be serious. Like it's not going to be some ju 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 like jovial like juvenile shit when literally the logo is shattered. Yeah. It it could like ah uh, it just maybe some like ah uh, I don't know how to explain it in words. It's just like this could be anything. Like I just imagine just like Sonic just sees this whole like giant cosmos of the galaxies and just maybe it'll be like a Professor Paradise kind of character. Where you know, you know, you know what it'd be kind of funny. Yeah. When they're going like what like they go through the multiverse and they go to like the Sonic Boom universe. Yeah. Because Sonic Boom did have a bit of multiverse hopping towards the end of the second season. Hmm. So maybe? Like, but will Roger come back? So, like, may, 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 as Boom Sonic, that, I don't know. I mean, he just left, so that for him to come back, may, maybe, maybe not? Be... I don't know, because I feel like that I feel like that would be easy, because all they would have to do is just recycle the old assets from Sonic Boom and just use them in 
the new animation if they were to have like a crossover like that. Yeah, it's just I, may, I just imagine it's gonna be like this big journey because it's it's so it seems like Sonic's gonna be on a journey. He's not gonna be at like at his own little world like the world he lives in. He's gonna be beyond his world. He's gonna be going through different dimensions, different like you know worlds where di he'll be meeting different Sonics. Granted, maybe not Sonics from existing ones that we've seen before, but probably original ones exclusive I to Sonic. Like I feel like if we were, if, if we, I feel like if we were to see any pre-existing ones, it'd be the ones owned by Wild Brain. So again, Sad M Adventures and on. Yes, so maybe Sonic might. So that would be kind of like like all those characters like in 3D back, and maybe even voiced by their original actors. Perhaps maybe they could be like grown up by them. We see like grown up versions of these characters. Maybe. Well, I don't think they're gonna do that. They they want to they want to prop the shows. Because like imagine. Don't worry. Are you mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Repeat what you said before. I said they probably weren't going to. They're probably not going to age them up. They want to keep like the the timelessness of those old shows. True. Unless there's like this. Trip. There's a lot to speculate here. So we we really gotta get to that next season of Ultimate Spider-Man. Mm -hmm like whichever one it is with the whole multiverse because like we have a bit of their multiversal experience with ben the Ten. uh yeah with ben 10 omniverse i wonder if they're gonna do any like time traveling things because i feel like man of action are pretty good with time traveling stuff i mean this clearly is more about the multiverse yeah, than time travel true. But, you know, with every Man of Action character, they all wear jackets. Are we gonna see Sonic wearing a jacket? I want a nice red jacket with, like, a logo on it. Well, here's, here's the thing. We we don't know if they're if he's gonna get redesigned or not, because as far as we know, it's just going to be modern Sonic at this point. But the main thing to speculate is, when are we going to see a trailer? Yes. And my theory is South by Southwest. If that happens this year. Well, they're, they're gonna do South by Southwest digitally this uh, year good. but yeah uh we really covered about everything this is really shaping up to be the show i really wanted it to be. yeah i'm I, excited so we you said before it's like what will they do next what is like the next thing they're gonna do next with the yeah like what really could they have done with sonic as a show because like he was a warner brothers squash and stretch style like show you with adventures he was an eco-friendly drama with sad am a weird rock band with underground a shonen anime twice with the ova and x some charming youtube shorts with the pest animations a weird sitcom show with boom a complete reinvention with the movie so like what could they have done and, now, and i guess this is the answer the answer Enter is verse. multiverse <laughs> that's the answer multiverse it's like what are, what are they going to do everything. everything they're going to do all of the it's things like, so what are you gonna do next sonic yes <laughs> What are you gonna do next, Sonic? Yes! <laughs> What are you gonna Gee, do? that's helpful. <laughs> it's like, what are you gonna do, Manufaction, Wild Brain, Netflix, and Sega? Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Oh my god, it, it just, it, it's just, it's so open to possibilities of so many different, like... There's so much you could do here. Yeah, this is exciting. I knew and they I were gonna do something new. I believe in Man of Action. I knew they were gonna do I something... I believe in yeah, Man of same. Action. They got this. They, they, you know, I knew they were gonna do something new. They're gonna, like, take, they all, but they're also gonna bring everything you love about Sonic, but bring something new to the table, which is multiverse. And I think that's such a great idea. And there's so much, like, fun and creative ideas you can do. Do with it like it's gonna be awesome i want to believe that this is gonna be such a fun show i like we all know if it's gonna be perfect or terrible we have no idea but i just want it to be fun and i just want to have something good because i just want to be excited about sonic again because it's been really up and down with me with sonic event uh, these uh, past few months or so i've just been very unsure about sonic and i've just been into other things at the moment and such uh i.e uh, ben 10. And Man of Action, the people who make you the most happy in entertainment, are about to bring you back. Yes, so they're, they're, the fun, ha cool writing is just going to make me feel the warm fuzzies as it did with Ben 10 and soon to be other shows from their catalog. But another thing I need to mention 
intro. They gotta make a okay. they, they gotta make a s intro that slaps. Okay, <laughs> I don't want any of that lyrical like non lyrical shit where it's just like some generic music. No, nah, I don't want that. I want lyrics. I want to like I want this to be like a freaking anime opening. I want this to like blow me away. I want to be hyped every time I watch this. I want this to just kick ass. Get you know what? Fuck it. Get Andy Strummer. If is is he still in the industry? Is he still around? Get Andy Strummer. Uh, he if you don't know who who he was, he was like in this band in the nineties called Jellyfish, and later on he ended up making like music for like TV shows like Teen Titans and Ben Ten, and I think some other Man of Action shows. Yeah, he did a lot. He this man did a lot of stuff. He he's a legend and doesn't get talked a lot. He needs more. He needs more love. I want to do a video about him because he's a really. I I, I I personally want to see theme song like uh, for, like this is probably gonna sound lazy but i don't care i just want to hear a crush 40 cover of the sad am theme song as the intro like a crush for 40 version of fasting alive that'd be rad that would be interesting i would like a full version of it like i don't like one of those short intros that just like that's it that's all it is i want an extended version that you can listen to online but then again maybe i'm wishful thinking and it's just like i just want this well i mean you you're, you're you're probably asking for a bit much there babe but we'll, we'll see what happens oh no, <laughs> oh, no i'm just but oh, yeah man. uh Sonic Prime, everyone. Yeah, this is this is good. They're, they're, they're going for some interesting directions I here. Just, I I wish them the best of luck. I I'm looking I'm looking really forward to this. Yep. Yep. I'm looking forward to the ideas. Characters will be there. Like, is this going to be Sonic alone on this journey, or will so like Tails tag along with some others? Will there be new original characters? Because a lot of these Sonic cartoons and animes always introduce an original character to each show you know so there might be some someone new to appear mm -hmm. exclusively I don't, to the show if if they do they, I don't think they'd be a mainstay character. No. They'd probably just be exclusive to the one base, universe. Yeah, as like a side character, which is fine. I'm, I'm uh, okay unless, with that. unless like unless like the new villain is what's causing all this dimension hopping because like. Mm. Would it be Eggman? I feel like it'll be someone bigger than Eggman. I think Eggman's gonna be like a small pawn. Like, they don't it? mention anything about Sonic's friends, because I remember when Sonic Boom was first revealed, it was like, you know, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, uh, Amy, and their new friend Sticks. It's like, no, it's just Sonic. Yeah. He's on his own. He's, what if his friends died? What if he just like my friends are dead? I fucked up. Maybe that's why he needs to. Be, maybe that's why he needs to be redeemed. He needs to go like to different multiverses and like save his friends. It's like the plot to generations. Maybe, but maybe better. A lot of people. It's say, generations, but on a grander scale. Maybe he's gonna tag along with some other Sonics and like I imagine like with Spider Verse. So you got the main Sonic there. You've got maybe like a Myers. Miles Morales kind of Sonic, like a rookie kind of Sonic. Miles, Miles Morales, yeah. You've got Spider Ham, that will probably be like a cartoony Sonic, so maybe like Adventures. You would have Adventures. Like so a, like, like a, you're listing this off, and you could you could say like the new one could be like the movie Sonic, yes. maybe if they can get the license. Uh, I imagine no. there will be like no. you know how there was Penny Parker. I imagine there's going to be like a female Sonic, yep. and she's going to be like very like anime and stuff. Oh god. <laughs> I can see yeah. the fan of yeah, that they're, they're, they're gonna, I can see the hentai already. <laughs> oh god. Uh, then there will be like a noir Sonic, like a very like serious kind of like like dark feature. I mean, we've Sonic. already seen like a noir Sonic in like the Archie comics. So there could be something like that. I mean, it will be probably like similar, but I'm just like giving examples. And yeah, I just... Uh, well, I don't think be like a you're making it sound like it'll be like Earth. exactly like Spider Verse, but with Sonic. Yeah, it would just I don't think it's going to be. That. Yeah, it won't be like a copy and paste of that, but maybe something similar where Sonic tags tags up with a different bunch of Sonics or different characters from other. With, like, a, with a team of Sonic. What if like Sonic tags up with his like like his prototype design, the the rabbit Sonic? That would be really cool. Like that would be. That a... would be interesting, but I don't know if that had happened. Yeah. We'll see. But we'll see. I'm... Again, there is 
There's a lot we could do here. There's a lot to talk about. This is this is going to be the thing I'm going to be talking about for a, the whole year of just random ideas that'll pop in my head. It's like, oh, hun, they should do this, and you'll be like, no. I mean, hey, at least at least, at least it keeps, keeps your brain busy. Yes, I'm excited can, about you know, cool science again. That to you. I've been like really like unhopeful about science. Yeah, sun. thanks, Madafaction. Wild brain. Thank you, Madafaction. I. It's so funny. And you wild brain. And wild brain. But it's so funny you said before, like, oh, I would love to see what Man of Action, like, work on a Sonic cartoon. And it happened! Your, uh, your wish came true. Yeah, you, I was you, right. You have future vision. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm Garnet. Yes. Uh, speaking of, I guess, songs, because Steven Universe has a few songs. I'm not saying, like, they will be singing and such, but I would like to see some, like, original theme songs that will be playing in the background for just the OST. That's Maybe. Oh. I mean, I mean, if they if they go to the Sonic Underground dimension, there might be a song. Oh, That's God. just tradition. If they're gonna, like, go with Underground, they're gonna, like, kind of mock it in some ways, or just, like, over-exaggerate as this very overly 90s, like, dimension. <laughs> just this weird like Dimension. so me, me me as a rock band huh, huh that's that uh, pretty cool and then he just and it's like oh yeah i always have uh, siblings different. and they're just like it's like this is my sister sonia and this is my brother medic we're trying to find our mom it's like and how long have you been finding your mom for oh about like um decades yeah we oh, about, found about, about about over about over a decade or two we haven't found her yet but we're still oh. going it's like oh well Okay, I mean, can can I help you find it? It's like, yeah, sure. You're me, and that's really that would cool. be really funny. Imagine, imagine they have an episode <laughs> to like talk to, of like the other Deke shows, like Sonic goes to the Sally M universe and they defeat like Snively and August. You know, he goes to the underground dimension and they f finally reunite his, you know, if, the trip like, with her mom. What if like they do that and they find out that <laughs> that the Oracle's like a twist villain? Let's not. Get into that, please. Okay. We will save that for when we review all the all shows. Right, all right. But one thing I need to bring up: if they if they go to the underground dimension, I wanted to, everything to be like out of like shape. You know how like there's so many animation errors in underground. I just want it to like no. replicate the style. Well, I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> You gotta remember, 3D animated, babe. Unless they, like, change up the art style where there's, like, diff unless they do, like, You know what, it'd be rad, but I don't think what would happen unless oh. they could, like, talk with the creators. What if we got Zonic? Like, Zonic the Zone Cop. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Like, like I'm sure there'd maybe, like, be, like, a little nod to, like, Archie. Maybe IDW, just... Because it's, again, big multiverse, so they're gonna... Sonic's probably gonna see all sorts of versions of him out there. Maybe they're gonna, like, do a reference to that one, like, Night of a Thousand Sonics, where he just sees many versions of himself, like, through some sort of, like... Maybe. ...screen, where he just... And it's just, like, someone just, like, shows, like, this Sonic is the many versions of you, and it's like... That's all of me. Wow, I never knew this. I never knew that would be possible. And he's like, and this random character's like, well, you see, Sonic, just, it goes or, 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 on forever. It's like, it's like, mm. hold on, wait. I would say it's like these are all me. It's like yes, every universe has a Sonic. It's like wow, I didn't think I mattered that much. Aww. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> that got that got that got a bit dark. That got all sad. Oh, uh, if this show is gonna make me cry. Well, yeah, I mean the whole redemption thing. Yeah, the I, redemption. I don't imagine Sonic if he yeah, had to redeem Sonic's himself. He's gonna probably gonna be be throwing a little shit at first. He's gonna be depressed. Uh, this better. This is better to be like a Steven Universe future thing. Is, so Sonic kills Tails in a car crash caused by his rage as Super Sonic. Yikes. Ugh. <laughs> I, I God. Just... I just imagine like it's like Prime. There's gonna be a few tears shedding. I want, I want this show to make me cry. I want Sonic fans on Twitter. Oh yeah, it's also trending on Twitter right now uh, for Sonic Prime. I want yeah. Sonic fans to be bawling their eyes. It's like I never knew Sonic could make me cry. I want this show to make me feel things. Yes, make me feel emotion. <laughs> make me care about the characters. Oh man. 
we're probably gonna end this now. We've been rambling for quite a bit. We had to cut some stuff out. Yeah. Closing statements. Uh, I'm looking forward to this, yes. and I want to watch more Man of Action shows with yeah. you, babe. Hell yeah. yeah to, to lead up to it. Yeah, absolutely. So hopefully by then, uh, we will finish the man of, some of the Man of Action shows, and I feel like we need to eventually finish Sonic X, Boom, and the movie, and then we can be complete. Or like, you know, the movie and then Boom, because yep. of a timeline thing we're going through. Yeah. That'll be a future video one day. We'll oh yeah, that, 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 that's another thing. That's, yeah, you, could, you, you really want me to turn that timeline theory of mine into a video. That'll be a fun video to do, but yeah. That... I get- oh god, that- oh, oh god, wait! What? No, this show could completely ruin my timeline! Oh my god, so it could just- it could be anywhere at any time! Well, no, because like, if they have Sadiem or Underground, like Sadiem Underground or Adventures has different dimensions, I can't fit it into the timeline. So it might not Because they wouldn't be the same time stream. They'd be different dimensions. It'll probably be a separate timeline altogether. Man of action, it's screwing me here. <laughs> My timeline, no. <laughs> Maybe it'll just be in like a completely different timeline. Like it's a separate canon timeline that isn't canon to everything else. It's just separate. I don't know. We'll figure something out once we see it. Once we see it. It's 24 I'm episodes. I'm going to figure out some bullshit. Because it... it took me... Oh. What? I said it's going to be 24 episodes. I wonder if it's going to be, hopefully be 22 minutes long. I want it to be, like, long. I don't want it to be too short, you know? Yeah, I don't want it to be, like, Sonic Boom, where it's, like, 15, like, okay, two 15-minute segments. Yeah, I want it to be nice and long. 22 minutes. And in the season yeah. finale, I want that to be an hour or 30 minutes <laughs> on a big special. <laughs> uh... The finale, Sonic needs to fight an evil. For Sonic. Not the Archie one, because... But another <clears throat> evil, evil... It'll be Venom Sonic. <laughs> Carnage Sonic. Venom Sonic. Mephilus Sonic. Al Sonic. Oh, they're gonna put... What if they pull, like, an EXE, like a Sonic EXE look-alike? <laughs> and that's their evil Sonic. <laughs> that's their Venom. <laughs> uh, we'll see. That's, that's a bit wishful. I'm just... But yeah, we've rambled on yeah. for long enough. I'm we are rambling. very excited. There are so many things they can do with the show. Yes. So all you really got to do at this point is wait for a trailer. Yeah, we'll probably be watching that. But yeah, we'll so end yeah, it off we'll, right we'll now. We'll probably record uh, gets... our reaction of that whenever it comes. We'll end this right now before it gets too close to an hour. So take care, everybody. And this will have a right. less time, to, less things to edit out, so it's not too long. But yeah, I've rambled enough. Take care, everybody. Put your comments, put the comments down below of this video. Let me know what you think. Let me and Alex know what you yep. what you would like to see for Sonic Prime. And we'll see you guys next time. So take care. I'm uh, Alex Hedgefox. And I'm MC Jemson slash Moonbear. And we'll see you next see time. See you later. Whenever we make another Sonic podcast. Probably not for a very long time, I don't think. But bye for now. Probably when the trailer drops or when the new game, yes. game drops. Bye. Bye-bye.